the only one who's laying the eggs. This time of year, uh, May and into June, is the highest chance to, to see swarms. As we sink further into spring, make sure you're being mindful of potential swarms from your pollinating friends. Heike Williams with the Oregon State University Central Oregon Agricultural Research and Extension Center in Madras says bees are not only very active this time of year, but also once hatched, it takes just three weeks for the all-female workers to emerge. The population grows quickly. During this time, it's common to see a swarm of bees around the size of a basketball flying around. So that means the old queen is leaving with about half of the, the worker bees and some of the drones, the male bees, and they first cluster somewhere till, and then, then they send out scout bees to find a new home. Oh, and here's the queen. Williams says the swarm is not dangerous, but worth taking precautions. If you see a swarm or notice a hive in your backyard you don't want, you should call the Central Oregon Beekeeping Association. On the flip side, Williams says there's a substantial native bee population in Central Oregon and you can attract them to your home. So if you want to do something for bees, not just honeybees but native bees, is like uh, grow a lot of native plants in your garden and and try to avoid uh, using pesticides in your garden as much as possible. Steelhaugen, Central Oregon Daily News.